they call me the champ. They know what it is, know what I do, know who I am, who don't understand. Yes. Welcome back to the football clinic. I'm your host, Noma, and I'm with the fellows. GQ here. Um, this Aiden here. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's get into talking about football. As Fabricio Romano says, here we go. The biggest transfer ever since Messi to PSG, ever since Cristiano Ronaldo to Real Madrid, we have Mbappe to Real Madrid. The Galacticos are being assembled once again. And yeah, Mbappe has agreed to join as reports say. So what, what what's your take on the big on the big before I, I as a Real Madrid fan go ahead and threaten you guys with you <laughs> with, with, with what's to come. What, what's your take on, 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 on this Mbappe leaving PSG? <clears throat> well, it's been a long time coming. He has flirted with uh, Real Madrid for way too long. He has played with you guys for way too long. I think <laughs> <laughs> play hard to get for way too long. So yeah. I think everybody knew that his next club would be Real Madrid. There were rumors that he could go anywhere like um, Chelsea and Liverpool as well. But we all knew realistically that he would be going to Real Madrid. I just have one question in mind. Yeah. He doesn't like playing as a striker. How is he going to fit in this Real Madrid team with Vinicius on the left, Rodrigo on the right? He playing through the middle is one of his one thing he didn't really like <coughs> yeah. at PSG, and he likes yeah. to play off a striker. So that's the thing. Apart from that, it, it seems like all good. It's like a fairy tale for him because he's always wanted to go to play in like the full of the full set of Ronaldo, Cristiano yeah. Ronaldo. So it, it's good for him and it's good for Real Madrid. So yeah. Well, for how we're going to play, I presume we're going to go with a fluid three because that's the way that's the way Vinicius and Rodrigo are playing right now. They can interchange at any given point. Okay. Rodrigo can go on the right, on the left. Vinicius can be through the middle, go on his wing. So with Mbappe, it would be like three guys doing whatever they want. Three pacey guys coming at you, coming at you which is very scary to think about. Very scary to think about. I wonder, my expectations for this move is with Mbappe now, because Real Madrid are already favorites without Mbappe to win the Champions League. With Mbappe now, I expect them to better what we did with the Cristiano Ronaldos, because I do not think there's a strong enough European team, because in the Ronaldos time, there was Bayern Munich, there was Juventus, there was, Barca. I would say, Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, there were these other teams from other countries that were really good. Yeah. They were really good. So right now, there's only one team that I can say that is really good, which is Manchester City. Yeah. So if we only have one team to worry about... Oh, and not forgetting, there was PSG at the time. PSG was somehow building a good team, and then they would obviously crash out usually. But yeah, so now we are going to have a team that only one team can come close to competing with which is a sad thing to do because we all know real madrid we usually get the hardest draws in the champions league and we always used to knock out the biggest team so now we'll only be looking forward to meeting city that might upset us but right now even city with mbappe it's going to be scary it's going to be scary so as i said we won five ucls in nine years with mbappe in this team now being that most of them are young I expect five UCLs in seven years this time. Anything dreaming less, big. anything less. It's not dreaming big when we have already yeah. done it before. Mm. We've done it before. So five UCLs in seven years is my expectation from this squad. Anything less it's will a be a, is, is a disappointment to me okay. in my book. So, yeah. yeah. Um, Mbappe going to Real Madrid is, is not something that, at this point, I think all of us, you know, you would speculate or whatever yeah. you want to. Uh, at some point, it even got so funny that Barcelona thought that it's a possibility. Oh, he was spotted in Barcelona. Like, yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's just where he showed so, up. Yeah. But he actually went to <laughs> the <laughs> Madrid side of Spain. But yeah, um, this it, he's um, it makes it makes it makes um La Liga watchable. Yeah, it makes La Liga. Uh, I think La Liga has lost. Well, Jude Bellingham is, is, is the one maybe um, shining light at La Liga at the moment. 
I don't think people turn on La Liga to watch as mm-hmm. they used to. Yeah. Right? Ever since Cristiano Ronaldo left, and the numbers even prove it, like the viewership went yeah. down uh, completely. So um, Mbappe will turn on the lights for the Spanish League. True. For sure. And he's exciting to watch. Yeah. So he's not just um, going to be there for goals. He's going to be there with, with excitement. And Barcelona right now are not good enough to really compete with this. I mean, they're not even competing with Real Madrid right now. Maybe no Real Madrid, try, they're trying to make it competitive by uh, tying their weekend game. Yeah. They're trying to make the league at least. They don't want to run away yeah, with it early. Yeah. yeah. But then uh, Barcelona financially... And with Xavi going, I don't know which um, top manager would be looking forward to, yeah. you know, coaching Barcelona with the financial constraints. So it's all playing towards a one-sided uh, Bayern Munich in Bundesliga type um, league that La Liga would look like, in my opinion. Now, when it comes to how Mbappe would be playing, or how he should be playing, in my opinion, at um, Real Madrid, I think they should do the uh, four four two, because um, they should they should their links uh, to them with uh, Davis. Oh yeah, Alfonso Davis. Alfonso, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think that's the the worrying uh, position they have because what they need to beef up is the right back position in Cavahal. He's too old yeah. to continue like this right now. And there's CBs as well. Yeah, the CBs, CBs can yeah. manage like it, mm-hmm. it, it because. It's a lot of money. You see, they have you good d- age. The CBs are good age. Yeah. Rodrigo and Militao are good age. Yes, yeah. exactly. And Alaba, you yeah. know, and Nacho, they could they could get better. Yeah. Yes, but you could also hold hold, hold still yeah. and and because there's a lot of money when it comes to Mbappe. There's a lot of money, even though it's technically a free transfer. They're money, going to pay 160 million euros for the signing on. Yeah. So which is like a transfer fee. So there's a lot of money involved with Mbappe. So. Maybe what you need to do is find a, a good, uh, functional right back that can help Kavaha because right now we know um, Vavade is the one really trying to help Kavaha. Oh, not yeah, the rumors yeah. of Hakimi. The rumors of Hakimi. Yeah, maybe maybe rumors of Hakimi. So it, for me, instead of going for a left back, they should actually focus on going for a right back. Now this is why I'm saying that. For ninety percent of the teams that Remage is going to play against, right? They're going to be dominant. They're going to be the favorites. They're going to have most possession, Mm -hmm. right? But for the other percentage of the teams that they will play, including Barcelona, who would still probably have more possession Possession, than than, than, um, Real Madrid and Man Cities of the world, right? Cavaja would be a liability and Mbappe would be a liability off the ball. Yeah. So now they have a hardworking team, right? Everybody runs hard and everything like that. When you add Mbappe, you know what it comes with. It comes with off the ball, not not picking up his man yeah. or just walking, right? So you now need to balance it. So for me, I think they should play a four four two where um, Chouameni has to grow up and play where and play in the midfield okay. because Tony Cruz cannot continue playing and he is not even signed uh, the an extension yet. Yeah. So Chouameni has to grow up in the ball playing ability. Right, and you pair Chouameni with um, Bellingham yeah. in that midfield, with Valverde playing on the right, but kind of like a diamond coming inside and allowing the right back to play the whole wing. Yeah. Right, and then playing Rodrigo and Mbappe as the front two, with Vinicius playing on the left hand side. Mm-hmm. I feel like that can give you you can defend as four four two, so you don't allow Mbappe to. Not allow. He won't. He won't even do it. He yeah. won't run, right? So you just play him as a a, a center forward slash on the left hand side wing. Winger, you know, yeah. him and Vinicius can do exchange and play off of each other. Okay. So he's not really playing as a nine, which he doesn't like. Like, like. yeah. So I feel like that's a a very good solution. And you can now, um, sometimes you can put Valverde in the midfield with Chouameni and um Bellingham playing. So with that means Kamavinga doesn't fit into this. Kamavinga will be, uh, will be coming player. off the bench, yeah. Really? Kamavinga, for me, personally, Kamavinga should be that guy next to Chouameni yeah. whilst Valverde goes. And then Rodrigo, maybe, if... The thing is, Rodrigo is more of a player who can mold into being a nine in the future 
That's why I feel like he needs to play right next to Mbappe. But if they feel like that's a problem and they need more control, because the only midfielder at Real Madrid who has some level of control in his game is Kamavinga. Mm -hmm. So if they need that balance with running and control, then Kamavinga should be in the middle with Chouameni. And Valverde plays off of the right. And then they play Bellingham and Mbappe together in the 9 10. See, it's, it's a nice mixture, you know. Anything mm. goes, but one but thing is guaranteed. One thing is guaranteed. We get goals. And we, we are scared. No, there will be goals. That's, there, that's there will be goals. goals. But and, I'll say... And, and, and as once Zidane said, when you're with Cristiano Ronaldo and you walk into a game, you're already 1-0 up. Yeah. So but now, now with Mbappe, Mbappe and Vinicius, you're already 2-0 up. With Bellingo, uh, Bellingo. 3 0 up. Okay. So, <laughs> you've already won. You already won. There's no need. Formality. Hey, formality. Yeah, formality. Every game is so a formality. Every, every, every team will be looking to upset us, but that would be a good thing because, That's true, because now everybody will be trying. You see why Perez was asking for the Super League? Because football will become unfair. Mm. UEFA should listen to Perez because if Real Madrid go on and dominate for the next six years, football will be boring. Football will be boring. In La Liga. Even in the UCL. In my opinion, it's, yeah, it's in my opinion, it's, Man City will right still now, be the best team yeah. in the world going into next season when Mbappe. You see, a, a lot of people Man City will they not like be the best team. They like the names. For me, I just <laughs> you watch practically what is happening. Yeah. Like practically, how are they playing? Man City will still have the best one and two midfielder at their in their ranks yeah. with Silver. Wherever you want to put Silver, will still be better than all the midfielders that are playing at Real Madrid. And then, if they get somebody like Kavaskelia or Mitoma, we know City will add. Yeah. Right? Oh, they, all they need right now is a winger. They All they need is a winger. winger. If they get a bona fide Champions League high caliber level winger in Kavaskelia or Mitoma, there's no team better than Man City. Go up, go down, and they have yeah. the best coach, best midfielder. Games are won in the midfield, in my opinion. That's true. When you have three of the best, among six, seven players, you have three of them. You're still the better team, no matter what you do. Mbappe can be played out of the game because City would have 60% of the possession, in my opinion. Mbappe does not need 60% of possession. That's the thing. Vinicius does not need 60% of they possession. They have Haaland, the ultimate eraser. We, 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 <laughs> I can't just one touch. You, you see, you have Haaland. They have Haaland, the we ultimate have, eraser. We have different answers to everything. There's Rodrigo. There's Vinicius. There's Mbappe. There's Jude, there's Valverde. Like, listen, when it goes to 90 games, City may dominate, but they cannot keep it up because their players are older and they are passing their best. Real Madrid's guys are averagely below the age of 25 and already are favorites for the Champions League. They are not favorites. I want to, I want to yeah, say yeah, that. Yeah, they, they are not favorites, favorites they in the Champions off. League right now. Yeah, what? Second. Who is first? City is first. Exactly. Okay. exactly. Without exactly. Mbappe. Without mm -hmm. Mbappe, we are second. With him. City is also going to add. It's not like City, City is not going, going to add the best City, player in the world. City have already we are added. adding the best. City, City have the already best added Mbappe. Who is the best striker in the world? The best striker in the world is Haaland. And they have him already. They have Haaland. Who is the best midfielder in the world? The best midfielder in the world, Jude Bellingham. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, okay. So who won the uh, European uh, best? Uh, who, who, who won European best last year is Rodri, right? Yeah. Um, oh, so oh, oh, it, it, speaking from okay last year. Okay. okay. So, so from last year. <laughs> if we're speaking from last. No, he's continuing his, his form. He hasn't, um, he hasn't he, lost a game. This he hasn't year. lost a game. No, no, no. He hasn't lost a game in a full year. In a full year. Full, full so, calendar year. He hasn't lost a game. As a City player, he is the best. In my opinion, he's the best footballer in world football right now. So, in my opinion. Still, uh, Savio, Savio, Yo, yeah. the Girona wonder kid, right? Yeah. The Brazilian Girona wonder kid is already at City. Uh, They've already signed him. It's done. Wonder what? Uh, he's, he's troubling. He's, he's, he, he's, kid. he's a kid. We're signing the. <sighs> you guys also have kids. Yeah, kids. <laughs> <But> <laughs> he's, a kid. he is not a kid anymore. <laughs> he's not a kid anymore. <laughs> Savio is kid. second in the kid. in the Spanish league already. Yeah. Playing and actually, when I, I watch two games of Girona, I'm like, who is that kid? He's yeah. really Next good. minute. They've completed the 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 the, the, it's the not crossover. The table. It's yeah, not the under table, the table. Yeah. You know. <laughs> and you know, in the summer, Mitoma is already listed yeah. as somebody who would go. Yeah. And Kravitskaya is not happy. Yeah. Yesterday he played uh, for for Napoli and he was taken out. Yeah. Um, at halftime and he threw away like he was he was kind of visibly angry. Yeah. He's not happy. That guy, he's not on form right now and people have forgotten. But when you watch how he plays, when you look at his technical ability he's one he's of the exciting wingers yeah. in world football he's top 
five, in my opinion, wingers in world football. They get that guy to Man City, Savio on the, and then uh, Foden starts playing in the 10 as his natural position. Come on. There's nothing stopping this team from winning and beating everybody convincingly as well. Except Liverpool, if they get a, 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 a coach. What I mean, no, 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 no. it's the rivalry. It's, it's a rivalry. The... You know, like, regardless how good you are, yes. like, your form, whatever, you can meet a team regardless yeah. how bad that team is. The rivalry yeah. comes and then and it, it changes, yeah, it changes yeah. the game. So but just City, being City and adding a left winger, it's done. It's done. They still have Haaland. They still have Rodri. They still have De Bruyne. They still have... Uh, they still have Pep. We'll, they still have Pep. The we'll, ultimate we'll, player. We'll, we'll see this Champions League how it goes. Yeah. And we'll see Real Madrid. We'll, we all know Real Madrid is going to reach the semi-finals. Yeah. And yeah. the only team that can stop us is Man City. But even now we have Jude. So anyways, yeah. we'll see. Yeah. But Mbappe going to Real Madrid is scary. So yeah, mm. we now move on to Bayern Munich and their fallout with Thomas Tuchel, who said to be leaving in the summer. And Bayern Munich wanting Xavi Alonso as their replacement, as their number one replacement. I think we should go to the Liverpool guy. Yeah. Well, this this shows that Bundesliga is not a serious league. Why? Because how would... Um, You're very emotional. Calm down. No, no relax. Calm down. relax. <laughs> You're too emotional. No. In which league have you seen or heard, it's very rare for um, the dominating power to be losing to the underdog. Yeah. Then they'll sack their coach and they'll go for the coach. Of the dominating power, I think Bayern does this. It's a normal exactly. thing that Bayern. Chelsea does it to Brighton. So, what? Well, continue, right. continue, continue. Right. continue. Right. continue. Right. Yeah. But, but even Man, you wanted to do it with Jose Mourinho when you wanted. Did, 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 did no, you it was it? because but maybe it, Jose Mourinho had EPL, options. No, it's not like that. The EPL wouldn't really allow. No, it doesn't really happen. It yeah, doesn't really happen no, anywhere else. Anyway, Any, it doesn't happen yeah. anywhere. Else. It's only in Bundesliga yeah. that they would even be thinking about it, and they'll be like, "Yeah, it's a possibility. You can go." How? Like the person I'm competing with, I've, I've got a coach now. I can use that coach to compete against you yeah. and beat you. I'm like, now, nah, yeah, take this coach and I'll start all over again. It makes no sense, but it's but it's legal. Yeah. And TT for the whole Bayern issue, um, I'm very disappointed because TT mm. is a very good coach. Last season, he almost bottled the Bundesliga, but bars and few misses from Dortmund, he won it, and now we were feeling like okay, he got the striker he wanted. He yeah, he said he wanted uh, Paulina, he didn't get him. But then you, you have Kimmich. Yeah. You have a lot of good players. You have um, Musiela, you have great players there. For some reason, there's fallout in the um, in the dressing room and the whole team's not playing well. And I know on Twitter, a lot of people are, I mean on X, a lot of people are bashing Harry Kane that he's brought in the express case and all that. I don't think it's all on him because he's doing what he can. Yeah, it's doing uh, well. everything else is that's falling out of place. Their yeah. defense. Uh, Tite is not picking the road, the best players in the position. Yeah, there's yeah. a whole lot of um, misunderstanding with um, the players, the senior players, and he himself mm. is not happy. He is very vocal about it that he wants players. They are not signing the players that he wanted, and he the players he have he can't play the way he wants to play. So I, I think there's a whole lot that goes into it, and the whole Xavi Alonso um, issue. Yes, they want the next best thing, and they feel he is the right one. I. I hope it doesn't happen because I know we'll be talking about Xavi later on. Yeah. But I really hope it doesn't happen and he chooses Liverpool from the But for me, for his excuses, I do not really give it give it any thought because one, you're yeah, Bayern Munich. And yeah. saying, Oh, yeah, they're not giving me the players that I want to play the way I want. What first of all, Bayern Munich are going to dominate. You know, there was a thing we used yeah. to say that even without a coach, Bayern Munich would we'll win, win the, the Bundesliga. We'll win the Bundesliga, yeah. Mm, that's that's a, good. Yeah, that's a saying. That's yeah, not, no, yeah. That's I mean, not, we, we that's not realistic. Because of how dominant mm. they were. The, I get you. They're dominant, Be, yeah. Because of how good and strong they could beat anybody yeah, in, they could, in, in the Bundesliga. In, yeah. 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 But then for some reason, it started last season. It's mm. not just starting this season. It started yeah. last, season, yeah, last season. Getting to the end of last season where they seemed to lose the first spot. And Dortmund yeah. didn't take advantage of it. Yeah, it was down when they sacked Nagusman. Nagusman was actually holding everything together because even in the UCL he was undefeated. I think he's he sucking. was in every competition. Yeah, his sucking was unwarranted until they thought Thomas Tuchel was the next best thing, and I guess it turned out to be the next worst thing for them because they 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 have exited all competitions. Yeah, and no, the, the UCL is Definitely, just the one yeah. pending, which they have lost to Lazio one 0 they so, can turn it around. There's no big game with that one. Well, Immobile will have to see about that. <laughs> so, yeah. 
Um, for me, the tale of the tape is this: um, Has he underperformed? Yes. Yeah. For his for his level. Yeah. Yes. Um, and two things can be right. One, he has underperformed. Two, um, the Bayern Munich players are not playing for him. Now, this same run that he's on was would be good enough to be first in the league last season. Mm. Good enough to be first in the league the season before that. Mm. Now, uh, Leverkusen are having an unprecedented run. This weekend, they play, is it Mainz? And he, um, Xabi Alonso has the, the opportunity to make the best record in the beating. Bundesliga history, including yeah. Pep, who coached Bayern. Yeah. Never made that. So f some, sometimes we have to put context to it and say the pace who is setting the pace? The pace that is being set is astronomical. Um, Tuchel at home has lost one game mm -hmm. in the whole Bundesliga. One, drawn one at home, one nine. So sometimes the narrative is very skewed when you don't look at the, the bigger the, picture. The bigger picture yeah. right? Um, to te uh, to Chelyban, that's what we hear on, 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 online, right? So who, who scored the most goals uh, 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 in Bundesliga? Bayern. Mm -hmm. Right, you would say it's one sided, Harry Kane, but Harry Kane is part of a team yeah, that is scoring the most goals. They have 61 goals, and uh, Leverkusen has 57. And Leverkusen, everybody sees them as a free flowing, you know, open football, yeah. scoring a lot. Of, they haven't scored more than Bayern. Now, the opposite side is that Bayern has conceded 10 more goals than Leverkusen. Well, 10 more goals in a, in a, in a league that, that leads to draws, yeah, that leads to losses. A coach can set you up, but sometimes if the players are not playing for you, we're talking about Kimmich, right? Kimmich is not prime Kimmich right now. He is not prime Kimmich. Kimmich used to be able to control the game and at the same time run around and make tackles. That's not what Kimmich does anymore. Mm -hmm. Kimmich is only there for controlling the games. That's why um, Tukio came and said, I want a six. I want somebody Attack to protect back. my back four because yeah. you have Opa Maguire at the back. <laughs> Right, <laughs> who would get a lot of red cards and give away a lot of goals? Mm. So, if you look at it, he was asking for basically one player. Yeah, he, he I mean, they, they almost got it over yeah. the line. Yeah. And what they were supposed to do is they gave uh, Fulham gave him a new contract in Paulinia, Jao Paulinia, a new contract with a release clause in it, basically allowing Bayern to come in January and trigger the clause and yeah. get him get it over the line because Fulham okay let's say Fulham did not get who they wanted as a replacement yeah. so they thought why would we get relegated and give away our captain yeah things don't work like that staying in the Premier League is some money business yeah so I get from the Fulham side why they did that but Bayern you are Bayern you are supposed to be able to get it over the line you're not depending on Leon Goretzka who Basically, he's not playing football. He's always at the gym. Yeah. Right. Beat so it up. yeah. So in my opinion, there's one way of looking at it. As yes, the team is underperforming, but we haven't heard of Leroy Sané being good until Tuchel went to Bayern. Yeah. Right. You could say some players are not playing um, in the right positions, but even against Lazio, if you watch the game, they had zero shots on target. Well, zero shots on targets. When you look at the stats, is zero shots on target. Not when Harry Kane was five yards in front of the goal and blasted over the, over the, over the post. Yeah. So sometimes when you look at the game, um, they have good possession, 60% possession in games, but sometimes they don't score. And once you hang in there against Bayern Munich long enough, enough. you will get the odd goal. Yeah. Mm. Because defensively, in the, especially in the midfield, they cannot make enough tackles to prevent goals. Bayern, we always know. The, the, the core of the team is always the midfield. Yeah. Now they have Mula coming into the midfield playing next 10 next to uh, uh, Harry Kane. He doesn't have the legs to track back yeah. like that. So Kimmich doesn't have the legs anymore. He's played so many games, too many games. They needed beef in the midfield. They didn't do that. So yes, Tuchel on one end should be blamed. He's a higher level manager than what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. At the same time, Xavi Alonso is setting the pace that is unrealistic. And two, he needed a, a six that makes tackles. For me, that's the real issue. And outside Tuko, we have the man that we've been calling out the most, Shabby Alonso, who's setting the pace mm -hmm. with Bayern Leverkusen, undefeated, and still in all three competitions, going for the treble. So 
as a Liverpool fan, how do you feel about? I'm excited. Yeah. Um, he's being, excited uh, for him now or? Well, next yeah, year? yeah, 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 yeah. For next year, him now mm. and next year. All right. As much as I love Hurricane, I really want a Hurricane to uh, win the. Um, the trophy, yeah. yeah. I really want them to win a just trophy. anything, anything. Please win something. Well, they can organize like a preseason, <laughs> you know, some, some small, some, but like... it would be fun if he, if he wins the UCL, though. Yeah, if, if they beat um Real Madrid to it, but I really wanted Hurricane to win something. But now, mm -hmm. with the way Xavier Alonso is playing, I would love it if he wins the Bundesliga, leaves Germany, comes to Liverpool, um, as he has been tipped to be like the favorites to be, um, oh, clubs. What? I thought you, was, you, you said Hurricane come to Liverpool. No, no, I was I like, oh, no, because you said Hurricane. I was like, no, I, I, the I, I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm. to, uh, to uh, replace Jurgen Klopp. I think he coming at that time will be good for him and good for us more mm. um, because he we will be getting. Uh, you think he's ready? We don't know. Right now, we don't know yeah, until don't know. he's given. Yeah. Even if you go for um, a decorated coach, you still yeah. never know. Because someone as good as Tuko is doing this way at Bayern, you never know who you are getting unless it happens. And I feel like uh, Alonso will fit because of one. Liverpool, I know every club used to say uh, likes to say that oh we are community and all that. Yeah. Every club says it, but me being a Liverpool fan, so I'll talk for my my club. Yeah. Uh, we are community based kind of a club where the fans love to be like you're part yeah. of a team. Yeah, poor. You don't have money. You scrape. Yeah, we scream FSG. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we don't have Daddy Bolly. Yeah, 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 we don't have Daddy Daddy yeah, Todd. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, um, he understands the culture of the club. He understands the people. He's been there. He he has. It's someone that the fans will easily fall in love with because mm. already the, the fans already love him. It's someone mm. the fans who will be behind, who will back him. He doesn't need to do much for the fans to be on his side. Mm. So that's one thing as Liverpool we take pride in that the fans we love our coach. Let's so, not forget his two thousand and five performance in the Champions, Champions League, League final as well. We, we talk about Stephen G yeah. but Xavier but he, Alonso was mad yeah. in yeah. that finals as well. Yeah. So like he's already a legend, a right. hero. So True. he come in, he it's something that everybody will be on his side from the get go. And and the style of play that he, he also does, his versatility, what he did at Real Society and now at um, Leverkusen, even though it's his style is a little bit different from how Klopp plays right now, yeah. it's very interesting to see what he will do to the team if if, yeah. if if he arrives and it's very exciting. I can't wait for him to get well, on for, board. For yeah. for me, for him, I'll I'll take the paper route and go to Bayern and become a very successful manager, win things after things, and then move to Real Madrid later on, win things after things. I know you, you are saying that because your coach has signed an extension and you wish you wanted him there right now. If uh, Atelotti was leaving, you wouldn't say you want him to go the pep route and go to Bayern. No, it's still you a pep route. Say, it's still a pep route. No, if Atelotti was leaving this season. No, it's what, is the, what is the pep route? Pep route is used going to the biggest already team made, in the land. Already yeah. made. Going to the biggest team in the land. What do you mean? And Liverpool is not the biggest team in the land? No. What do you mean no? They're not the biggest team in the land. What land? In England? In England, they're not the biggest. Who's the biggest team? Man City right now. How do you mean biggest? You mean on like form? like the team that's on form. dominating in the current stage is the biggest on team. form. Yeah, yeah. City is the biggest team. How many come right now? If it let's use right now. Come on, let's not drag this. Let's not City drag is the, the biggest team in England right now. Currently, 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 currently. currently. Not not we're not talking about we're go, go, go dust off your history, history books. No, 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 I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. I'm going right now. How many competitions are um City in? In all of them. FA Cup Premier League and Champions League. Three. Yeah, yeah. In three. How many are Liverpool in? In the Europa League. All four. No, competitions. Why are you looking at him? Europa. Why are we uh, wait, 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 no, no, like, why? No, I didn't say which competition. <laughs> why is Europa <laughs> compared to <laughs> Champions League? I'm not comparing Europa to Champions okay, League. Okay, then you're in three. Yeah, in okay, four, you're in four. four. I'm in four. Yeah. yeah. So, I've, and right now, who is on top of the league? You're on top of the league. Yeah, so you're saying the biggest team right now. You said right now. We all know no, that City does this. <laughs> even if Leverkusen, even if Leverkusen, we will not call Leverkusen the biggest, the biggest team, team in the land. Like the team right now in Bayern. Okay, in how many trophies? Okay, up to now, yeah. from 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 the start of the season up to now, how many trophies have you won? None. Okay, you know City have won. Yes. Okay. So now 
Is that what we are counting? I don't know what no, you want to. I don't know, I don't know what you want in the last five who's, years. Who's the current? Uh, okay. Who's the current uh, world club? Uh, wait, wait, club no. club no. Uh, world, world, world club, club uh, winner? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Who is the current Champions League winner? Who are the three times? Oh no! Hold on! I'm coming. Who are the current Champions League winners? City. Who are the current England champs? City. Why are we arguing? Why are we arguing? So right now we are just talking about one season. You just said no. Wait, 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 currently, no, 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 all the on. things you are hold in, on. you haven't no, no. won neither. No, no, hold on. Hold right? On. Yeah. Let me. Okay. Use okay. That. okay. The, the, the Chelsea is, is, is doing a treble. Yes. We're in the Carabao Cup. Yes. We're in the Premier League. No, you're not competing for champion. Uh, we are in the no, 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 I'm not mathematically. I'm not out. I'm not out mathematically. That's, me, that's your logic. That's your logic. I didn't use mathematics. Ah, yes. If I was third in the EPL, then I'm saying that we are challenging for it. Then I'm using mathematics. Arsenal, I'm is, not. Cha- Arsenal is also challenging. It's challenging, but yeah. they can use the mathematics. I'm not using mathematics. I'm using where I'm right now. But you're now. not the biggest team in ah. England. You're not the wow. biggest team. No, Come down. Say biggest team. Biggest team is not the, f- the past five years. It's say the past five years. <laughs> Who is the current? Who, okay. Champion of Prem of the of My England God. three times in three so in a row. Who's the biggest team in um how do you call it um Spain right now? It's Real Madrid. It's Real Madrid. Who is the uh, holder of the La Liga? It's Barcelona. So it's Barca. No. No. What is no? no. Why really? is yours no? But mine yes. <laughs> yeah, Who is the biggest team in Spain right now? Real Madrid. Why? Real Madrid are the most dominant team in the land. So now you're using biggest as domination. No, if you come, no, I'm using your for own example. Parameters. I'm using listen, your own no, parameters. no, no, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. If 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 Leicester was to come and win the following mm. season, they will make them the biggest team. Yeah. But Man City, they did not win it once, mm. not twice, right. won but won it three, three times. times. They went to the Champions League yes. semi-final, got knocked out by a miracle. They went yeah. to the finals and won it. Yes. And the other year, they went to the finals and lost to Chelsea. Yeah. yeah. The, the track record is just there. They're the it's biggest true. team in So now semi-finals England. and uh, also counts with the, being the biggest it's team. It's your performance. It's, the it's your dominance. The dominance. Be, so, go okay. to semi finals. So is that the case? And uh, Liverpool has been to three uh, Champions League finals. They've won one. There was a two. point you could no, no. argue that. There was a point it was arguable. Yes, there was a point it was arguable. Right now, right City now are not. the biggest team. Right it's now. not even debatable. It's not debatable. Right now. Yes. It's right not now, debatable. Yes. You're years, not even right. in the Champions League. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're not even in the Champions League. My guy, it's just a fluke. It's just a fluke coming out. Your position last season, it was a fluke. Yes, it was a fluke. Okay. It was a fluke. Does a fluke being demolished by Real Madrid like that? Yes, it was a fluke. <laughs> I saw, you know, I saw a picture where uh, Liverpool went two up and Kamavinga and Vinicius were also like, come on. Club, okay. club last game in the UCL for Liverpool is coming out to Real Madrid. Oh my guy, he hates Real Madrid, man. Hates so, Madrid. yes, back to Xavi. Yeah. I would pick the pep route, either go to the biggest team in the lands in Bayern and Real Madrid, stack up your cabinet. And then later on, when your legacy is too big to be questioned, go to Liverpool. And okay, yeah. which one would be better? He coming to Liverpool, doing miracles at Liverpool. Miracles. That is our hopes not seen. He he going to Bayern doesn't mean that you're going to win Bundesliga. They actually <laughs> think he's a club two point. Oh, that's the funny. No, thing. what do you mean? Him going to Bayern at least guarantees. Pep, Pep. I would guarantee. Eighty-five percent. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yes, eighty-five percent. It's guaranteed. Tuchel is a Champions League winner. I agree. This is a what's happening to Tuko and Hurricane is something that is shocking the whole world. Which can happen again. It it can happen again, but the probabilities no, are low. The, the, no, 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 no. Who 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 is making? Who is shocking us? Xavi. Xavi. So he goes to Bayern and he takes away the shock and he's taking some of the players with him to 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 Bayern. Of course he would. So, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> Which one would be the bigger story or the, the bigger big... legacy? In okay. That you said, yeah, in yeah, CV. Yeah. He come to Liverpool doing the and Liverpool. hope Liverpool, 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 Liverpool. Yeah, Liverpool. Yeah. And Liverpool. then wait, because definitely he will go to Real Madrid. No, there's it no depends. Doubt. If he fails at Liverpool, there's no Real Madrid. There's no knocking Real Madrid. on the door. Ancelotti was at Everton. Was failing at Everton. No, no Ancelotti, Ancelotti already had, had, won, had the aura. Uh, he, had, yes, he had Ancelotti the trophies to, 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 to You know, when he goes to Liverpool and he flops at Liverpool, there will be the case where like he oh, might go back Brighton. To, no, 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 no. Wait, Brighton wait. is the next. There's goal. only way down from there. No, no. <laughs> there, there's still a way up because no, yeah, if he does, relax, see, if he does, relax, okay, because okay. one, it would be like it's Liverpool and Liverpool are not that good. As you said, they're yeah. not a big team. Yeah. And Liverpool are flopping. They even struggle at the Jurgen Club. Yeah. And they don't have money. There'll be so he is much. A young manager. Wait, wait, wait. There'll be so much um, excuses for him. There'll be excuses when he for him. When goes to Liverpool and he flops. 
But Real Madrid, you don't but take excuses. But when he goes to Real, a big team as Bayern or Real Madrid and mm. he flops, what uh, will be the excuses? No, no. Let me when you go to Bayern, when you go yeah. to Bayern and flop, the way down is to Liverpool. You Leipzig. can find yourself. You no, Liverpool? you can no, you, you can, can go to Leipzig. Leipzig. No, you can find yourself. You can go Liverpool. to Liverpool. Yes, you can go to Chelsea. Bayern. If you flop at Bayern and Real Madrid, if they sack yeah, you, you can, can go, go to Chelsea. To, you can, you can go, go to Chelsea. Chelsea. You can. They can go to Chelsea. Yeah. You can go to Liverpool. Yeah. You can go to Liverpool. Yeah. Come on, get yeah. off it. Yeah. You guys, yeah. because yeah. of the one Premier League in, yeah. in, in thirty no, no, no. years, yeah, 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 you're talking no. too much. You're yeah. talking too much. If that's the case, you can No, that whole one Premier League. When they get emotional, listen, listen, calm down, calm down. Nineteen league titles. Don't use that whole Premier League. Yeah, yeah, league So come on, get off it. Get off it. <laughs> like I come off it. Like, when, like, when, when you go to Real Madrid and Bayern yeah. Munich at the pinnacle of football. Where's uh, Nagelsmann right now? Nagelsmann is in the Germany national team. Yeah. Na- and he was wanted by Chelsea. He was wanted, wanted by, by Real Madrid. He was wanted, wanted by, by PSG. PSG. He was wanted oh, by PSG. PSG. I'm telling you, is it truth? No. The reason <laughs> Nagelsmann was wanted by that it wasn't because he, he wasn't uh, Nagelsmann didn't flow. He was sacked or, or, or like unwarranted. He was in every uh, league. But that doesn't matter. He was, he was, he was living by the, the, the point is when you because of a problem uh, of his wife and his daughter. We're not disputing that. We're not. But, but, we but our Wait, point is, so, Tuko has yeah. Tuko, right now. Shabby right has, now. Yeah. If Shabby gets sacked, he can find himself at a Chelsea, at a Liverpool, at a Man U. He will be in contention for those jobs. If if, if he's at uh, how do you call it? If I'm not doubting, I'm not doubting what you're saying. I'm not doubting it. Yeah. But if he goes to Real Madrid, given everything that he's given and he flops, he can find himself at Liverpool. Okay, okay, okay. Good example, Brendan Rodgers. Yeah. Where, 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 where did he end up? Where did he go? After Liverpool. Celtic. Celtic. No, no, no. After what? Rangers. After Liverpool. After Liverpool, where did he go? Where did he go? I'm asking. Where did you go? I don't know. Where did he go? <laughs> where did he go? <laughs> <laughs> to Scotland. Found <laughs> <laughs> himself at Leicester. No, it's he, went to, he went to Scotland Man. first. Yeah, he went to Scotland. Yeah. He was a Celtic. He, he did well. He did well. Did well. Did well. Did, yeah. And then Leicester were like, oh, so you're actually good. good. Yeah. Okay, then come, come back. back. So mm. basically, Xavi Alonso is the same thing. Mm. If yeah. he goes to Liverpool and he flops, yeah. the way down is, so see that is, is, is yeah, he's going to go then. below, yeah. prove himself, and, and then go again. up. So the, he has to take a step down, yeah. then step up. But if he goes to Bayern, he can still go to Liverpool. He can it. even go to Real Madrid. He can, st- he yeah. can still go to Real Madrid like from Bayern. Real Madrid, the Real Madrid one is a con. He will definitely coach Real Madrid in the future. It depends on how he does. For me, for me, depends on what he does. For me, Xavi, for his mental yeah. health, for his mental health, um, he should go to Bayern. Not because yeah. he cannot handle uh, Liverpool, but I feel like this Liverpool team, when you look at it, right, they're good and blah 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 blah. I just feel like there's this club. There's a they should they should make a glue called club. Mm. There's this club thing there. There's this club about, glue. Yeah. That is that there. Is you see how how terrible they play in first halves. Yeah. And I don't know what the hell he says in the in the locker room. And my some goal, way somehow my good go said he dances for them. I have no <laughs> idea. The way they play like yeah. even yesterday. Even yesterday against yes, Luton. Yes. Luton should have probably made had a second goal if they were serious. Yeah. They come out in the second half and Liverpool they, blitz they, them. Yeah. Blitz them. It could have been 6-1, yeah. 7-1. Blitz them. All right. There's this there's something about club. Now, um Xavi Alonso is a young manager. He's not gonna have the aura. These boys have heard club speak. Now they're going to hear Xavi's Xavi Xavi He's speak. a calm guy. Calm guy. No, tactically, that's how you go. Yeah. But yes, <laughs> and then they're like, no, nah. because uh, 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 Nunes is not tactically. Nunes is like, just go. But yeah. then he he's Spanish, so he is no, no. It's not yeah, about speaking wait, wait, Spanish. Wait, wait, it's wait, about wait, the aura. It's about, about, it's about it's about the aura as well. And like I said, he understands um, how do you call it? The way the club is, and he, as you said, the Champions League final. Yeah. He has been there where he plays shit. In the first half, the second half, he's, well, he's right, well, so wait. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he has been there. Yeah. He has been at a place where his back is against the wall, and mm-hmm. he stepped up. So he will know how what to tell these people. And then again, Klopp is that kind of coach. When he said that, when I come, I'm going to change the fans from doubters to believers. He mm-hmm. got the fans behind him. The same thing happened yesterday when um, uh, Harvey Elliott made a bad pass. The the, oh, the main stand were like, oh, they were mourning. And Klopp, Klopp shouted pissed. at the fans. Mm. Yes. So he, Zab, Zabi, will be that kind He's of not player. that passionate. He's not that passionate. He's not that emotional. At, at, the, uh, at them, mm. but then he has the fans already on, behind him. Once you lose 
One seven on games. Two, Thank you. Yeah, fans you ten your back. For his yeah. mental health. You know what? Yeah. You know what? Sha- you know what Sha- uh, uh, Xavi yeah. of the Barcelona. He was like, I'm leaving the club because you fans. <laughs> this is you fans. Depressed. <laughs> you much. fans. You fans. For my. Me- he literally said. Oh, it's true. For my mental health. This, yeah. You guys pressure us have too much. To, um, club last season. That's why he made the decision to leave now. So on the high. At mm-hmm. this stage where Liverpool is competing at, or, on all fronts yeah. right now, yeah. looking for a transition. Yeah. In my opinion, this is a it's a fire. It's it, 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 you put your hand in fire. The next then coach the, that the comes to Liverpool is, should be very very careful. If you're yeah, any coach, regardless, yeah, I think the coach that's used to the fire. Because Liverpool is any, not being well, left. A coach that's used to the fire. Like who? Yes, Diego Simeone. Uh, uh, now I'm, 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 you know, last time we had this conversation, I'm I, I did you. not agree for Diego I'm Simeone. I was now, thinking about deserving. I'm telling yeah. you. But now when I look at it, the way right, the way it is, the way it is, the team is not is. It's not the best team in the line. Yeah, no, it's not currently. It's now not. you have a lot of. They're not young players per se in terms of age, but they're young players in terms of like maturity in yeah. the game. Mm. Right, you're going to have a new system. You have the crowd there that's used to winning yeah. and playing and, and playing expecting, expecting when there shouldn't be expectation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So for your mental health as a coach, I would advise Javi Alonso go to buy him and you keep. Then what did get uh, winning. Tuchel say? Um, with his uh, criticism, he was like he's been criticized more in Bayern than he was no, in England. Bayern is a, the they call it Hollywood FC. Bayern is a is a Real Madrid in a way. It's it's a big club that the pressure that the 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 criticism doesn't come from the fans alone. It's from, from the, the board, media, even the from media, the board, even, even the, the media, board members, like the, media is like the people that employ you, Chelsea. even the, so either, no, the wait, people, I'm using yeah. this mental health yeah. issue. The no, is why, like, why, why, why I'm trying to defend? There, why I'm trying to defend because. Thing about Real Madrid, Barcelona, uh, Barcelona, Bayern. Uh, Bayern. The thing is, the board members, because there are even times when Zidane was like, the Perez is saying, oh, we'll sack him after this if he loses this game. Okay. So if you hear your own president speaking against you, you'll be like, it's everybody against you. That's the thing with the because, biggest you know, clubs. Because the wow, Perez when you Zidane but, everything he wants. No, he. What do you mean? He didn't. He, he gave didn't. You everything. He didn't. But here's the case. The with thing someone is, someone like Klopp. Like the Ancelotti, board, even the Ancelotti, the board, board can come out and say if club uh, loses, we go. because what did you give him? He's the one actually covering your asses. The Excuse thing is, the thing He's is, the one. The thing I understand is, what yeah. you're saying, but with Bayern, he, he will be criticized a lot from the board the, and and the, the German and the German him. people. German people are usually vocal. Like yeah, they, 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 they are, and, they are you, very and, and if you find like. I think it's only Spanish and German where the presidents have interviews. Yeah. I don't think in England the no, president no. usually. I think only Todd Bolly Tod is the one who talks to the fans. He's like, see, see the so they is... go to the press because last game when they lost, the president of Bayern Munich was speaking about Tuchel's future. Yeah. Oh, Tuchel's future, this, this, and that. Like to the press, and it's the same with Real Madrid and Barcelona. Yeah. The president speak to the press. Like everybody has got their own persona and give their own opinion. So. You feel the backing from the way the president speaks. Yeah. While in England, the, the president the they, they are not even involved. Yeah, yeah so in the pressure is mostly from the fans, and then yeah. the president will just fire you from indoors. But in Spain, you would know no. from the from, from, from the, yeah, yeah from the interviews. Yeah, from the, for me, but I get what you mean, though. I get he, what you mean. He he he. There's there's no um, Bayern Munich. Uh, in as much as he, Xavi Alonso is the one creating the unrealistic pace at yeah. the moment. Yeah. At Bayern Munich, his team will be the best team. Yeah. That's he true. would continue to win. They yeah. will judge him off of UCL. Yeah. He would understand that. I, in England, trust me, what Manchester United is doing, I know we're not talking about Manchester United right now, yeah. but what they're doing, you know, before I said I would choose the Chelsea project yeah. because they don't have a, a football director. But now? Now they do. Manchester United will come back firing. Uh, City, City, mm-hmm. and Arsenal is building. Mm-hmm. Trust Chelsea. me. Che- I don't want to speak about Chelsea too much until yeah. we find right. a coach, in my opinion, that I feel like can really compete against these guys. Okay. But, yeah, these teams are there. Spurs, Ange is there, yeah. right? For him to mold this team, this team, uh, this Liverpool team is playing mostly off of passion and yeah. talent and ability. And tactics. So, I feel like um, he needs to pay attention and go to Bayern, get more wins, get the pedigree, then yeah. the whole world is there for you. Look at Zidane. The moment Zidane speaks, every club is like, oh, wait, 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 yeah, wait, yeah, we're waiting. Yeah, we're waiting, yeah. Okay. That's what I'm saying. You should go to Bayern, Real Madrid, stack up your trophy. Me, I just want him to come to Liverpool. And then, but Liverpool, get your... Simeone. You need somebody that will make players that are not good, good, to believe. You need somebody that's like Klopp, and that's Simeone. Yeah. 
He is mm-hmm. that uh, animated on the sidelines mm-hmm. enough for the fans to also get behind him, yeah. and that's what the fans the fans also love that animation on the touchline. So, yeah, and more on that. Now we go to the title race, the three horse race. We have mm-hmm. Liverpool, Manchester the biggest, City, the biggest team in the, in the, in the land. It Liverpool. Right now, Liverpool. Because of what you said, mm-hmm. I use your parameters. Go and, away. And, and <laughs> Arsenal. So let's first stick with let's let's go to Arsenal first. Mm-hmm. Let's let's talk about Arsenal. And how Ateta is... I, I like to say, he said Arsenal are not going to score enough goals to win the right. EPL, but now right. no, five no. goals. Five right. goals, yeah. In the last three games. And Declan Rice with some nice goals. Yeah. Yeah, so... So what do you say? What, what do you think five, about five goals. Arsenal? Do you think they are going to drop off again, or do you think they can go on to the last... Oh, before you go, uh, I think Arsenal after January have picked up a certain form. Right. Yeah. That they lost last January yeah. because last January right. last season they lost. It's like how they started the season. They yeah, started yeah. the season very badly, shaky, and now this time around they, they have picked. Them. They have switched. They now they have picked up mm-hmm. form. So this title race is going to be really interesting. Mm-hmm. But I've never believed in Arsenal, so I always feel like they are going to drop points in this Newcastle game. That they're going to come. I think they're going to no. drop points. I think they'll drop points with Chelsea. I think that's, even Newcastle, but but but, but 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 then um, Arsenal like are scoring. Arsenal are scoring. City, that's where Chelsea comes plenty in. goes, and I have to say I'm really impressed with yeah. Arteta. So, yeah. Um, Arsenal this year again, they are gonna they have uh, you know bigger fish to fry. Mm-hmm. Um, they lost to Porto. Yeah. <clears throat> Intentionally. Mm-hmm. They had no interest in shooting. They don't. Yeah. They don't have any interest in shots on targets. I, 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 I think they. They, they, they know their target. Their yeah. target is Premier League, not Champions League. So they yeah. had zero shots on targets. targets. Yeah. Yeah. It's a sticky one. Still, it's looking like a leftover rice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I. I. I, f- I feel like. Let's one second on Champions League. They're in trouble, uh, because of the coach uh, Portal has in Consensual. He's a defensive coach, so he will go and. Get. So maybe that works well for Arsenal, Arsenal. Yeah. They do, they attack, attack, attack. and make them attack the, the, the Premier League. Yeah, bigger fish to fry. Okay, cool. bigger fish to fry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they have bigger yeah. fish to fry, right? Um, the upturn in form, I I give the whole credit to Ateta. Yeah. Um, he figured out not yesterday, um, with um the the, the Havertz thing, but he figured out a role for Kai Havertz playing next to. Declan Rice. Well, you have also, to apologize for that. For Kai Havertz now playing well. Again, contextually, to his for seventy million, that is not playing well. He's just he's being used. He's right? in good form right now. He's in good not not even in good form. I I think they're using his legs, his running ability. Okay. He has always been able to put high volume kilometers in 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 in, in games. Okay. So they're using that. That's what he's using. Yeah. Um, and Trossard playing the false nine. Right and Saka coming into form ish. I say yeah. form ish because he's not really playing yeah. lights out. Yeah. But now the goals are coming with the performances. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Martinelli, he's not really really improving as a player in, in mm. my opinion. But uh, he's he's added a couple more goals to his to to his game. And Arsenal as a team, especially from set pieces. Yeah. Where um, what's their their right back? Um, his name has escaped me now. Uh, literally just stands on every goalkeeper, preventing the goalkeeper uh, from coming out, and they they score a, a lot of goals from set pieces. Th- yeah. That's their that's their number one way of maybe getting goals. And they right did that now. a lot against Porto yesterday. Yeah. yeah. So um, I think they're scoring goals now. I changed my narrative. Yeah. Now. Mm-hmm. They're scoring goals. I don't think it's a fluke. The way they play, they yeah. play a, a lot more fluid now. A lot more fluid. Saka does not necessarily have to stay out oh, wide right. on the line. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He can interchange with Odegaard or just come inside and then the right back. Please give me your... No, no, no. To me also? No, no. White? Yes, yes, yes. White. Yes, yes. White, white. Okay. white would, would, would take the line. Then it allows Saka to come inside a bit. It allows Odegaard to play more central. So it gives them so much fluidity, right? Only Martinelli is the one... S- told to be on the line right, and stay yeah. on the line and Kai Havertz joins the, the the forward line and then has to drop back so there's they move there's so many moving parts that it makes a team it makes it hard for a team to say okay we play like this yeah. we set up like this because before they used to double up sack on the line yeah. and then nothing really happens so I give props to Ateta they are a genuine contender 
for the Premier League. I'm not gonna lie. From here, yeah, they are mm-hmm. really. Um, Arsenal is interesting to watch. Um, they are a contender, but not the favorite because I still think the favorites are City. Yeah, yeah, the biggest um, team in the land, right? <laughs> Imagine, yeah, imagine not being the biggest team of the favorites. So yeah, but we know what City does. But I feel like Arsenal would would definitely drop points somewhere, and they are yet to play the boogie team. So you don't think season. you don't think you don't think it's three way? You think it's two? No, no, it's still three way. You can't rule them out completely. Yeah. But I still feel they have to play the boogie team, mm. and the boogie team of this season, surprisingly, is Chelsea. Yeah. Chelsea is making the like made um, City drop points twice. Yeah. Made Liverpool drop points once, yeah. and the uh, Arsenal two 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 two, and then yeah. they beat, they meet them again. Yeah. So that would be like a very tricky game to play, and yeah. also all teams are yet to play Tottenham, I guess. Yeah. yeah. All three of us are yet to play Tottenham, so there's still um, surprises going yeah. to be pulled somewhere as the games go on. But I I still think yes, they are a contender, but not the favorites to win it. For me, when we talk about the three teams, the only difference that Arsenal do not have is the goal scoring player that they do not have a clear goal scoring player if they continue where everybody's scoring goals then well and good but then we all know they'll come that time where you need that, that goal scoring that and that's nine. where i pull out liverpool and uh, city. man city. city to go away with it because man city yes they are waiting on ellen Haaland to now pick up his goal scoring running form which is going to help them a lot yeah. in chasing for the title because right now he's a little bit shaky, coming off injury now, he's picking up his form. Once he picks it up, City are flying again, because everybody now will be now flowing. Liverpool have got two. I will say Salah is back and Dawi Nunes. <coughs> Dawi Nunes has got that threat of become, going on a goal scoring, because he always has the chances to score goals. Mohamed Salah is always Mohamed Salah. His yeah. goal is going to get you goals. So, with those two being said, I feel Liverpool, yes, even with the games that they're remaining, Liverpool right. has the more favourable games to go on and win okay. the league. Wait, wait, wait. That wait. game on Twitter I've been seeing is BS. It's not, it's not BS. What's the favourable game? We still have to play, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it, United. We play City themselves. That's two games. You, we, we, we play games. Tottenham. Three. Yes. What was the uh, uh, We uh, play Wolves. No, let's not call Wolves. Let's not call Wolves. City have but Arsenal. But Wolves uh, beat Tottenham uh, just last yeah, week. Yeah, and you are playing the last game. Wolves, uh, Man City have Arsenal. Yes. Man U. Yes. Uh, yourselves. Yeah. Three. And uh, Tottenham. Tottenham. Well, so when so you talk about the big blockbuster games, Arsenal and City have more of those. Liverpool have games that you so could wait, see them so winning, we, except from the City we've game. We've played our bl- uh, big uh, blockbuster games, as you said, yeah. and we've won some, not some, and they are yet to play there. So how is that? It makes it because you're at the top. With all those games, okay. If you at the say, top. Yeah. if you say, um, in terms of betting, in terms yeah. of favorites, yeah. But we all know when the Premier League is coming towards these, these favorable fixtures become unfavorable. Like for yeah. example, yeah. if you are meeting. A team like Chelsea that has nothing to play for, yeah. that's an easier game than when you play Nottingham Forest. Who want to oh, oh, yeah, don't want to get relegated. So yeah. when you look at it bar for bar, line for line, like oh no, yeah. okay, my, my, name, my schedule team, is name, easier. Team, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. on the day itself Bruh. in the Premier League, we all know how it goes. So uh, for me, I've seen the thirteen games yeah. and all that stuff. I've seen it. I, I, I've igno- I've just seen it and ignored it. That's not how it works in the Premier League. Alone. Nobody has a favorite. Favorable. You have to Joe. play every single game yeah. as hard as you can because what the team needs at that moment is what matters. And we even have to play Brighton. Because even if you play Brighton, Luton, not at the best. Brighton made up drop points. They did, but what? I'm looking at the biggest. Because at that time, Brighton will be looking for Europe, uh, European football. Yeah. So okay. they There's would no be gunning for it. And if they continue to play on Thursdays, Mm. With the injuries that we are having, which is piling up each I feel time. like your biggest opponent is injury. injury. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Even though it's not an it, excuse we use excuse. Uh, yeah. uh, for other teams who have more injuries, like Chelsea, uh, yeah. we don't. We choose not to use it. We, 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 which, we, we have chosen not to use injuries. No, your injuries are password names. What do you mean? Like, what injuries? No, no, no. The, remember, this is the same guy that said, oh, when Nkunku gets back the team, yeah. we buy yeah. our best player. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Moving on, moving on. 
<laughs> but when he was back, well, our team has been better. He's actually not been back, you know that. No. Okay. He's not been back because okay. he has been injured again. Uh, okay. Right? Yeah, okay. So, anyway, uh, yeah. Anyway. So, Liverpool is the only team that is afforded the excuse of. Nobody, no, we have, excuse? We have injuries no, to no, 10 excuse? players when other people have 14 players yo, injured. Yo, so, wait. I'm Let saying that could be. We'll talk about it at the end. That could be a, 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 an Achilles heel for yeah. Liverpool in terms of injuries. And the Liverpool have the best bench. I, I've always said this. They have the best bench, uh, and they've proven it by having about four players scoring over ten goals: Diaz, Jota, um, five players, five players. Sorry, yeah. Gakpo, Salah, Nunes. Yeah. Right? Mm. The they have the best bench, mean. and then uh, when you have this mini. Um, what you call it? I call it mini yeah, silver. Silver ha- Elliot, who Javi Elliot, 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 who comes Elliot. in and does well. But then the, their squad is kind of thin as well when it comes to after the the five subs, mm. everything else is kind of like youth team. Yeah. But again, you still have to give props to the Connor Bradleys and and Ooh. and the Kwanzas. You know they call him uh, v- v- yeah, v- 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 VVQ, yeah. VVQ. <laughs> what rubbish? Um, <laughs> v- 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 yeah, but yeah. Um, I give I give them a shout, but I think injuries might play a part yeah. in where City for me City wins. Mm. And then we have the final one, the final of the Carabao, oh, Carabao Cup, which is Chelsea versus Liverpool. Yeah. How 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 how, how what, what's your take on it? Chelsea Liverpool. You you guys go ahead. For me, I'll say Liverpool is winning this one. Uh, for me, it's, it's before this week I. I was so confident yeah. with this uh, matchup, like, yo, we will win this. We are, we are not going to have an easy game, mm. but we are going to win this game. But now, this week, I, I am very, very doubtful. Because, yes, we can't use injuries as the only reason, mm. as an excuse, wherever, because everybody's a footballer, you mm. have footballers. Yeah. But then, when it's like your talisman, your main players, your key men, your game changers who mm. are out, it's... It affects mentality of the other players yeah. because if I am playing with the best player in the world and I know my best player, the best player in the world is hurt, yeah. and now I have to look for somebody. It kind of makes me a bit doubtful mm. going to the game. Like, can we still win? Mm. So that's what I think it's might come into play. I hope it doesn't. And who I, is that talisman in Liverpool right now? Mm-hmm. We that have is, so many. That is hurt. Um, that is what hurt. Um, Trent. Yeah. We have Trent, we have Allison, our goalkeeper. Yeah. We have Salah, is doubtful. Yeah. We have um, these things. What do you mean? Continue, continue, continue. Salah is doubtful, and Nunez is also doubtful. Mm. So these four in the Liverpool team changes the game. Mm. The way we attack, our attack is very stale without Nunez. Regardless, he misses a lot of big chances. Yeah. He's, ve- he's very stale without Nunez. Yeah. And we know Salah. Salah is Salah. Even mm. when he plays really bad, he will get some. He will create a chance, mm. score a goal, assist. Mm. And we know the the um, the effectiveness of, of strength in when he invests, he he pulls the strings. Mm. And Allison, I don't need to talk too much about Allison. So there's a lot that goes into the final. Chelsea mm. right now are in good form. Yeah. Um, Gallagher is playing well. Palmer yeah. also seems to be. Um, Gallagher is not playing well, but okay. What do you mean he's not playing well? He's not. Enzo seems to be figuring it out. Caicedo surprised. stepped up yeah. recently. And De Sassi and Cowell, oof, that their last game, especially De Sassi, phenomenal. So this will give them a boost. And now they've rested enough for yeah, the, the they midweek. Did, yeah. they, 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 their game got postponed. I, didn't, I really don't know why. Yeah. So it got postponed. They've rested. Now we have to um, you know, suck it in. Yeah. And this, this, this play this game as if it's just the last game of the season. Win this trophy and it might be a boost that we need this i don't want to say it's a make or break for our season mm. but if we do win this it will help the team a lot and mm. if we do lose it it might affect or it might not affect the team we, mm. we don't know so uh, i still think liverpool are favorites not favorites they are favorites based yeah. on form wise but yeah, yeah um two one win for liverpool yeah. i'm seeing or a penalty i'm seeing Chelsea out. score first and then liverpool coming to win like how you been You've been, you've been uh, I really this. don't want that. Yeah. I really don't want that. All right. Um, so from my side, since we, 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 we start from injuries, so I should start from injuries as well. Um, Rich James is out. Okay. Sure. One. Um, we have Thiago Silva. Two. Who is out with a groin injury. Yeah. Our number one goalkeeper, Sanchez, is out. Pause them. 
I, I once asked you Sanchez or Petrovic, and you told me you wanted Petrovic. We're listing injuries, right? No, no, no. Who starts? I didn't list all my injuries, did I? No. I didn't even mention you, you the, 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 key the, the key players. Those yeah. who are starting the game, who make yeah. my team better. So I'm asking yeah. Petrovic or Sanchez. I would go Petrovic, but okay, according then, to then, then Poch, is because Sanchez, no, forget right? Sanchez, forget yeah. Sanchez. Okay, so yeah. okay, you so two. so is James and Thiago Silva mm -hmm. are, are out. Um, and Nkunku is doubtful. Okay, I'll give you that one. But, but no, he will play. Mm -hmm. He will play. Or did he what? get hurt against the City game? No, no, he came in the City game. He came in at that the seventy something. So it's not like hurt. hurt. He it just is, needs yeah. game time. To get he's, he's basically he's not fit. fit. Oh, okay, so he's basically he, not. He fit. will play. He probably will feature in the game, but okay. he'll probably not start. Okay, so which let's not count that. No, no, no. We should because it? he's a if he's fully fit, he's a starter. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, cool. So we also are going through. Well, we have been going through injuries the whole True. season. So but that's not a question. Were your... It's Rich James. It's yeah. Nkunku. Cool. It's it's uh, for a couple of weeks. It was Enzo. Uh, it's Thiago Silva coming in and out. It's Levi Colwell. It's Badia Shill. It's it, should I go on? It's chill. Well, should, should I keep going? Yeah, keep going. Oh, okay. Because uh -huh. it's 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 true. Uh, but it's he yeah, is was, he was a starter. starter yes. He, no, until he was not, he a starter because there were injuries in your to your midfield or, was or he more a injuries. No, he was a starter regardless. regardless he was, of the injuries. It was play. It was play. He was so playing. So who does time. he play ahead of? Palmer. We, we were playing. We were playing. Caicedo, Enzo, and Chukwemeka in the middle. And where was Galaga? Galaga was playing. I don't know how we were playing with Galaga, but Galaga Chukwemeka was a starter. I think Ch Chukwemeka was only a starter because of the injuries he had. Yeah. No. Yes. He, no, he wasn't a starter because of the injuries Who we had. Who does he get ahead of? You have uh, Enzo Caicedo. You have in the um, beginning. Galaga, Palmer, Palmer was not was not part of the team. We so got now, him so after like, five games. Yes. So he was a starter. And he lost his place. He scored a goal against West Ham, and he, yeah, he got, got that injured. injury, and yeah. he has never been back. All right. Mm -hmm. We are, Leslie Ogochuku has been out for a long, a long time. time. Right. So these people so, are squad players. You come. They are starting players and squad players. Yeah, the, the starting players you mentioned earlier. Fair enough. Yeah. But, like me saying that we are, I, I miss Stefan Badetich the whole of this season. I haven't. He's, he's a no, no, no. player. No, no, no. But I, the the, the no, no the, the, no, the equivalent the equivalent no, no. of Badetich yeah. is me not having Lavia the whole season. Exactly. And yes, I haven't mentioned Lavia oh, okay. neither. What about uh, me saying Thiago uh, Thiago Alcantara? Yeah. No, we, yes, injuries play a big part of the, the season the, in the long run. That is true. I'm not taking that away from you. Mm -hmm. But we are talking about the finals and we are talking about like the main key players. The yeah, but I'm talking about players who have played already. I'm talking about players who featured. I'm talking about Ugo Chuko who started the full 90 minutes against Newcastle. Okay, okay. I'm talking about okay. players who have actually played. I'm not talking about players who have never seen. Mm. I'm not talking about. I've not even mentioned the fact that uh, uh, um, uh, Madweke has been injured from the start of the season. He's only coming in now. Yeah. So if you talk about injuries, we have had injuries. We've so had a lot, lot of, of injuries, injuries more than the season. probably more than anything. That's true. But then you guys had the two teams in one team. So again, that, again, again. That's just that's just that's just an excuse to say if, if the quality is not quality. Even Malogusto is just only being consistent now. now yeah. He has had injuries yeah. as well. He went to France with his knee uh, taped up. Yeah. So, come on, let's not let's not go there. I, I feel like let's just talk about the game. The game. Who is there? Who is available? Mm -hmm. And what we expect. Injury should not be a question. But injuries me. do play part in because the, when the you team don't selection. No, when no. Mm -hmm. Salah no, is only rested. We know that he played in the no, in, no. in the last game. He's 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 not rested. Yeah, he might start. Yeah. He might start. I hope yeah. so. He and Nunes. For me, might, your might. Salah for me is my Nkunku. Nkunku. Yes. Yeah. So uh, that's what I'm saying. Let's just not. That's talk why about... when he said Nkunku, I was like, fair enough. I, I yeah. agree. So let's that. not talk about injuries. Let's just talk about the game because okay. everybody mm -hmm. has injuries yeah. in key positions. Your Trent is my Reese. Yes. Yeah. So let's not talk about injuries. My Nunes is your. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? What's, you mentioned what's the equivalent to Nunes? Nunes. You mentioned Rees, Trent, Salah, and Kunku. I mentioned Nunes. Why? Why should Nunes come in the play when we've already talked about key players that are not Nunes there? Is a key player. Nunes are key players when we are attacking. What do you mean? 
Yes. Oh, Nunes is a key key player when you're attacking. Yeah. Right? Even in defending, the way he plays right now, yeah. the way he plays, he's in our key player. He, he's, he's, he's our key player. Okay. Yeah. So he's your key player. Yeah. And he's missing. Yeah. I also have players that are missing. Who will walk into your first first eleven? It depends who you want to choose. Like if we're area. playing on counter attack, I will play Madueke and he's okay. injured. Okay, play. <laughs> so, so, so what I are you saying? I don't know what he, he wants to do, but let's let's no. go. Yeah. If you just let's just talk about the game and and yeah. who is there and who is yeah. not there and who yeah. you think will win and who will not win. Yeah. And in my opinion, I feel like this game, um, we're in good form, yeah. quote unquote. Uh, Pochettino has found something from the crystal palace game in my opinion um in terms of setting us up defensively yeah. i'm not talking about going forward, forward yeah like defensively having caicedo and enzo because enzo is not athletic mm. you keep putting him in areas to go press somebody where he has to go back and and, and catch somebody on, that is on a break it will never work it will never happen even a snail can get there before he does so you need to make him sit and he has done that uh, a bit and so Caicedo and Enzo playing in that role with Gallagher playing in the role that he should play as a 8 slash 10 type of thing and Jackson playing 9 right I don't think he will be able to handle the physicality of Van Dijk let's be honest but nor do I want to sacrifice uh, Cole Palmer playing as the 9 because if Van Dyke is going to take away Jackson, let him take away Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Don't take away the most, uh, like, once you get past the halfway line, the most creative player we have mm -hmm. in Cole Palmer, don't take him away. So I think that would be a mistake by Poch if he puts uh, Cole Palmer as a nine or a false nine, whatever he tries to do, and puts Jackson on the left-hand side. I think let's have, um, if Nkunku can start, Nkunku should play on the left-hand side, start. Cole Palmer play on the right-hand side and start. Jackson play as a 9, Gallagher play as a 10, and Caicedo and Enzo, Malagusto, Chilwell, Disasi, and Thiago. If he's fit. If he's, I don't think he's going to be fit. So I'll go with Cowell, the same back that played against City. But this is a different game because it's a yeah, finals, final. you know, jittery and stuff like that. But I have no doubt, I have zero doubt about who I know would be able to put their foot on the ball and play the game. It's just that Poch has to allow him to dictate the play in Enzo, allow him to dictate the play mm -hmm. and control the game. Yeah. And we would control the game over Liverpool. I really believe that. We, I know um, the game at Anfield, Anfield is a, it was a, in my opinion, Poch set us up terribly. <laughs> yes. So um, there was nothing to control. Yeah. And Liverpool just basically just pressed the life out of us. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think that this is a different game and I feel like um, we should be able to do much better. Now, the outcome, I'm a Chelsea fan. I'm not never, never going to say. So, I believe we should win this game 2-1. Okay. Diaz would score for Liverpool. Yeah. Um, and then, I think Jackson oh. and Cole Palmer okay. get one. So, for me, like, as we are mentioning, I even forgot, to, I don't, not to bring back the injury thing, uh, I even, even forgot to mention Jota, who was in, like, one of yeah. the best form. He was he won a uh, Premier League Player of the Month. He was yeah. like phenomenal. And we have Curtis Jones, who is our starter in yeah. the ball retention, and like he makes our midfield really play click well. And I feel like yeah, with the lineup, basically uh, Kadaha, and we have on the right we have Bradley. I don't know with the left back. I don't know if he'll go with um, Joe Gomez or Robertson, but he's starting Joe Gomez and the looting game. I'm sure he'll go with Robertson on the left bank. And then in the middle, Konate, Van Dijk, Endo sitting. Then we have McAllister. The other midfield is what I'm worried about. Elliot or Gravenberg. But mm. I would rather go for Gravenberg and let Elliot come in. Because I feel mm. for, some, for some reason, as much as I love Javi Elliot, he seems to be a bit lost when he starts games. Mm. He has a lot of influence when he comes off the bench and he has seen how the game is. He comes with a lot of energy and he reads the, games, the game well. So I'll start with Gravenberg. So we have that three and in front. If Salah and Nunes are fit, then it will be Diaz, Nunes and Salah. Mm. Yeah, and 2-1. Hope, hoping um, Nunes and Salah gets those two goals. Well... That is it from the football clinic.
Hope you like and subscribe and don't forget to share. Thank you. Bye. Bye.